Hey guys, Kamai Tarpley here, your favorite author and friendly neighborhood cat. Uh, we are back with another book review. I know, shocker. Um, today, it's actually 100% appropriate. We are going to be going over The Last Love Letter by Felix Alexander on Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> These overalls are like struggle. They're like $11 and they're super cute, but like the tops, my show. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what we're here for. Um, we're here to talk about The Last Love Letter. It is book number two in his Labyrinth of Love Letters series. Um, in it, you are following. There's so there's just like a bunch of mystery, right? It's a romantic novel, but there's a ton of mystery involved in it. You know, there's murders, there's kidnappings, there's just. There's so much that goes on in these like novel and stuff. So you get like a lot of elements. Um, you have Leonardo who was, uh, you know, there under a fake alias. He's actually murdered and stuff like, and not just murdered, but like murdered. <laughs> uh, he's like stabbed pretty profusely. And like, you know, the detectives are like, you know, was this an act of love? Was this an act of revenge? They're trying to unravel what was going on with that. And like, while they were there, you know, they there was actually a love letter. Um, so one of the police officers, he actually passes it off to a journalist, Gabriel, for him to kind of look into, which journalists are actually like, I think fabulous for investigating things because that's like their job. And I know that sounds like, you know, oh, cops can't blah, blah, but cops are like fighting crime too. So journalists are like, you know, they got time to investigate. They're not fighting any crime. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of a smart move on his part you know, even though he like drinks and stuff, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, and then you also have Arabella who, you know, is found wandering the quarter, um, by a nun and the nun's like, here, you know, this book came to me in a dream. Uh, it's that I was, I was supposed to give it to you. So Arabella has no memory. She now has this mysterious book uh, and she's actually forced to go home to her husband, Romero, who she really cannot remember marrying. Uh, one day she just like sneaks out and she runs into Gabriel and, you know, they're old like schoolmates and stuff. So they like linked up and started talking about the old book and the Labyrinth of Love Letters. So it's all just like a bunch of mysteries of, you know, why did the nun like give her this book and stuff? What does this mean for her? You know, how is this connected to Leonardo's murder? I don't want to give away too much, you know, because of mysteries, it's kind of easy to give away, you know, more than you should, because there's things you should definitely discover for yourself. Um, but I do always enjoy reading uh, novels from this author because he's like really amazing at like setting the scenes and like creating backgrounds for his characters and stuff like, I mean, you do have to pay attention because uh, he does provide a lot of insight into each character. So you got to make sure like you're following along with the correct character, but yeah, I think he does a great job and you can clearly see what's happening like in your brain and stuff. So I think that's, I think that's really cool. Um, and also, I don't know if you follow him on Instagram or anything like that, but he also like a lot of his posts are very much like, I'm an author who writes about romance. I'm an author who writes about love and stuff. So he's very on brand. So that's definitely something to be appreciated. I'm random. <laughs> I write thrillers and dark fantasies, but I'm also very weird on my social media. So you get kind of a mix, but yeah, that's going to be it for our book review today. Um, I should have another one coming up by Jackson Bear. Um, I've been so slow with reading. It's, it's just been bad. Obviously I moved and stuff. So there's just been kind of a lot going on, but I'm trying to get back on track. Um, really more so I would like to focus on doing reviews for uh, either self-published authors or authors who just reach out to me directly. Uh, just because, you know, I just think it's better. I think it's kind of cool. It's better that way. But yeah, that's it today, guys. Happy Valentine's Day to no one. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your days, guys.